everyone and welcome to another Minecraft mm. video. Now then, in today's video, I am playing Minecraft, but I start with an elytra. I know I'm that bad. I've had to start with a whole elytra just in hope that I can beat the game. Yes, it has curse of binding. I won't be able to take this off. This will be stuck with me forever. I also just spawn myself with fireworks because I just thought it's my challenge. Why not do my own thing? Now then, let's begin. To start right off the bat, I'm at zero zero. I've spawned right next to two villages. Now, since we have the elytra, I'm thinking we should just go to both of them. Well, sometimes I like to say we save the best till last. So first, you will head over to this village. I've just arrived and I've spotted that ruined portal over there, which is nice. That means there's a lot of easily accessible structures around. But the real question is, where is the easily accessible wood? Ah, there we go. This forest right here should have plenty of it. This tree right over here should be perfect. Okay, now I can just go over here and craft some stuff. I won't starve to death. That would be really sad if I had the elytra. I was bumping into walls everywhere and my cause of death was starvation. But anyways, we can go over here and we can get our stone tools. Alright. Oh, there are my stone tools. Um, now we, I guess we could just explore the rest of this village. Including this iron golem. This iron golem is not safe. Let me just get some blocks. Oh, perfect. I can build up right here. Oh, you think you're smart doing that? Well, guess what? You still can't reach. Oh, he can reach. He can reach. Okay, I was wrong. Sorry. Right, I've got to do that on a more flat surface. Alright, here should be fine. Okay, let's just take a moment to think about our terrible actions while we munch on bread. There we go. Let's place that dirt back. Oh, great. Did all of that for three iron. Hello. I'm just gonna take that. Thank you very much. Actually, there are wet ones in here, aren't there? I prefer the colour of red to orange. Oh, emeralds, bread, double tall grass, bonus. This is going to be my lucky double tall grass. Oh, I sure do love double tall grass. Ah, oh, more bread. And more bread. So, basically, bread, 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 emeralds, double tall grass, bread, 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 bread. Now we head over to the rune portal because this village is now useless now that i've looted everything of well that i wanted we've arrived all right uh hold on a minute i am wearing a curse of binding elytra which means i will no longer need that chest plate i said efficiency four golden axe you know what i think i will definitely use this to get a bit of and we found an outpost you know what? I really want to head over to that other village, but I've had a sudden motivation to go and loot the outpost. So I think I'm going to go over here. I'm sorry. It might cause my death, but as always, keep inventories on, so it doesn't really matter if I die. We'll just head over here. Now, what's the best way of doing this? Because I, I just realised I can't actually kill the captain. So I think we just try and find the corner where the chest is. Ah, oh, it's this one. Okay. And I think we just try and reach the chest without anybody actually shooting me. Okay. Already we've got people shooting me. This is a great start. Okay. Um, this is very dangerous. Okay. Uh, that was useless. Okay, I didn't get shot at all, but that was completely useless. And I'm never coming back here again. 
Well, is there an iron golem at least? I don't think so. I think I'll just fly away. Actually, you know what? Oh, I was hoping I would die. There we go. Because if I die, then I spawn back closer to the village, which is just rendering in. There we go. Now we can head over here quicker. And since we're dead, our effects reset, and we are safe from the bad omen, even though we didn't kill him. Oh, this chunk has finally loaded. And this village again seems pretty rubbish. Uh, okay. Time for take two with you, Mr. Iron Golem. Oh, I just realised my axe is very low already. It's because of that outpost, isn't it? Another three iron. This has been a great successful journey, hasn't it? We can make a bucket, and I need one more plank. I just dropped my axe by accident. Just give me one second. I'm just going to quickly take off the corner of this guy's roof. Then we can make a shield. And then with the extra iron, I'll make a sword. Even though I only had like five hits on my stone one. Okay, and now we can loot the rest of this place. Well, you know what? Now that I've said that, there doesn't really seem to be anything here. Well, I mean, four emeralds is a W, I guess. But two chest plates. So far, the only armor types I've found are chest plates. And I can't even wear them! Oh, pink sheep! Hey, look what I've just stumbled across. Pretty nice thing to find, isn't it? You know what? I kind of want to make sure you never despawn. So I'm going to breed you with another sheep, I think. Oh, there's one right here. You are the stupidest sheep to ever live. There is a bridge right there! Ah, oh, give me one second, guys. Finally, after 23 years, he's made it up. And by the breeding of this pink sheep, he will now never despawn. You guys can live a very happy family. Um, now I can only craft three pieces of bread, though. That's fine. I'll just feed the rest to you. Now I'll be on my way. Next step is to find lava. And I've no idea where that is, so I'm just gonna go in this direction and hope that I find it. Or plan unexpected. I've just found another village. I guess we can stop here on the way. Well, let's see what it has to offer. Well, I've just swooped in and already more food. Food is always the W, you can never complain about it. And there seems to be some sort of useless house over here that I'm definitely not going to check out. And we got more food! Anything else? Just fly up, thank you very much. Um, yeah, that seems to be it, apart from the various amount of food. Been a lot of emeralds today. Well, let's just take a nap in this guy's bed. Okay, now that it's morning, we can continue completely ransacking this village. Starting with this patch of hay bales. And then we can move over to this one. And I have found lava over there. Not sure if it's a lava pool, though. Well, I mean, it's flowing down, so it obviously isn't. Use your brain. Empty charge. But you know what, there might be something else over here, so I'll just have a quick little sneak peek. Well, you know what, it's not a pool, but this is definitely the perfect place to set these armadillos on fire. I've never done that in my life before, and it's an accomplishment. Why? I don't know. I thought it was funny. And now we can craft all of this bread. Got two stacks of it. I do not need all of this bread. You know what? My lucky double tall grass is doing well because so far I've found three villages, one room portal, one outpost. Okay, I, actually, that's the same outpost we just visited. I thought that was another one. I just saw the room portal behind us and I was like, yeah, that's that one, isn't it? Well, now we can try and find some lava. That looks pretty cool. 
Uh, let's not get sidetracked. We're finding lava. Well, would you look at this? I found another village. I'm not even going to bother with the food because I have so much of it already. Oh, look at this. A wandering trader. We might actually be able to buy something off of you. Like, pointed dripstone. Yeah. This is this is great day of my life. That made a lot of sense. Well, back to taking out the Mr. Iron God. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I placed it wrong. How can one be so stupid to place that wrong? What on earth? I just saw like an invisible outline or something. I was very confused. Alright then. And we got... Four iron this time. There we go. It's a little bit better, I guess. How's my elytra doing? Okay, very good on durability. Yes, yeah, so I gave it on breaking three and mending just to... Oh, rune portal. Well, yeah, just to um, make sure that it didn't break. Now, let's check out this rune portal. Oh, my goodness, we have started a forest fire. Um, okay. We've got some nice stuff here, though. Finally got some different armor and a golden apple. Nice. Didn't even check the enchantments. That's nice. You know what? That's not too bad as well. Pretty nice place. Oh dear. Forest fire alert. Wait a minute. What is that? Oh, it's just a stony shore. I was wondering what that was, but I was just very stupid. Now, I honestly don't really care which direction I head in. I'll just head this way, I guess, and I still need to find some lava. Okay, we're in portal number three. Here we go. Uh, nothing. Okay. I guess an extra iron ingot might be useful. And a clock. I love clocks. Oh, that's a great axe replacement. And, you know, I won't bother with that. All right, we need to stop getting sidetracked. And we need to stop finding jungles, because I don't think we're going to have any lava in. So let's just go this way and hope for the best. Well, would you look at this outpost number two? I'm not going to go inside it, but I just thought it was cool, because it's actually entirely in water. Um, yeah. I've never seen this before. To be honest, it just spawned entirely in a river. Well, I mean, except for this little uh, tent thing over here. Okay, that's enough getting sidetracked. Now I won't stop. Now I won't stop to cut the video until I find lava. But, I mean, we have found a village. Technically, I haven't cut the video yet. So, I'll allow it. Let's just fly over. Ah, oh, we've got rune portal number four. When will this end? Whoa, that is six obsidian in one chest. Wait a minute. This portal is completable. Yes! The hunt for lava can stop. We can complete this portal. But first, I am going to check out this village. Oh, there seems to be a chest in here, but it's probably just going to have paper and an empty map. Oh, no, it just had... Empty map and a piece of bread to bump me up to a stack. And then I eat and then it's completely worthless. Well, let's see what else is up here. Because it could be useful. You know what, I take that back. Just looking at the village makes me not want to go through it. Well, I mean, except for this chest. This chest can be excused. You know what, I keep finding emeralds. I think I have to spend them, don't I? So you know what, I'm going to place down my blast furnace in hope that a villager will reset their job. Um, no? Okay. Maybe I'll just destroy this guy's brewing stand then if you want to be like that. Yeah, and it was the wrong cleric. It was, wait, how many of them are there? Like, okay. It's like three clerics. Where's the... Oh, he's down here. Huh? We could buy leggings. Cool. Uh -huh. I want to buy these leggings. 
There we go. Slight upgrade. And then we can use the rest on bread, really. You know what? Maybe I'll just keep the rest if you're going to be like that. Now. Oh, that was close to the magma. Now, let's get back in business. we got iron here. We can make the boots to finish off the iron set. And we can get our obsidian out. And we can make a pickaxe as well. And a shovel. Let's make a shovel. There we go. Now it'll be slightly faster when we have to wait about a year to mine this crying obsidian. Okay, I've finally broken them all. My time feels very wasted after that. But we have got a complete nether portal. There we go. That was a very clutch chest having the six obsidian. We didn't even need that much to be honest. Now, let's go in that nether and let's find something cool. Okay. Here we are. Now, which direction do I want to fly in? Hold on. You know what? Since the gas is over there, I think I'm going to fly this way. Thank you very much. I don't care if there was a bastion and a fortress that way. I'm going to go this way because gas, I despise them. And you know what? I've come across a dead end. So I might have to change ways. Surely that guy's despawned by now. Oh my goodness, we found a fortress. Wow. Imagine if I didn't change ways. I would have never found this fortress. Wow. It's kind of buried under as well. That's pretty, um... Cool? I don't know. It's pretty. Yeah, it's just pretty. Oh my goodness. You shot a pigman. Worst mistake of your life. Oh no, they're all having all all out brawl. Now, how do I do this without dying? Because I'm extremely bad at the game. Okay, something like that. There we go. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Why am I running towards lava? Okay, let's just hit him and run. Hit him and run. Fly away, fly away. This is dangerous without the necessary armor. Might have to put my golden apple out. I'm on two hearts already, are you kidding me? And I have a total of zero blaze rods. Now, you know what? I'm gonna go for plan B. I'm going to locate the blaze spawner and I'm gonna block myself completely in so that the only thing can hit me is blazes. And then I won't get sidetracked by anything else and the blazes will be okay to defeat as long as I'm full health and keep regenerating. There we go, it's quite a complicated plan and it's going to require quite a bit of netherrack. But you know what, I'm going with it guys. Okay, I think a stack and should be enough. I'm going to just reorder this. I'm um, Just give me a second, my hands are really sweaty for some reason. I, I randomly get sweaty. I know, yes. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, that was terrible. Ignore that, guys. This guy needs to die. There we go. Okay, well, you know what? I actually haven't really realized the location of the spawner. I'm pretty happy with this, to be honest. Like, I don't, I'm pretty sure nothing can get me from here. I might just box it in anyway. Just hopefully. Oh. Right. I was about to say hopefully the spawning of the base doesn't scare me, but it kind of did. Now let's just completely box this in. Okay, there we go. Good enough. Um, I've got four blaze rods already. I've been doing pretty well. Every single time they spawn, they've jump scared me, because I, I don't know why. But you know what? I might just build in here a little bit. Then I can just give myself some space for when they spawn. Yeah, like that. Oh, look at that. I think we've got like five for five blaze rods. I think we've been doing pretty well. 
Okay, I'll just... Oh! I was gonna say, just wait here. Oh, well, I still have to wait. Just a blaze rod. Alright, let's see what I can do. Alright, I've got eight blaze rods. I'm gonna get out of here now. I was gonna try and get a ninth one, but um, I couldn't be bothered. Oh, 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 my RNG was so bad after the seventh one. So, let's go in this way. We're gonna try and find a bastion now. That's the goal. And then we can get our ender pearls. I mean, I wouldn't mind a warped forest. But it would just be a lot slower. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So yeah, let's find a bastion. Right guys, I've just found a treasure bastion. Not too far from the fortress, I cannot believe it. And it's the treasure one as well. Guys, please don't call me out for cheating. I promise you I'm not cheating, okay? I just found this by extreme luck. Now, this is a very dangerous place. Oh my goodness, I'm getting attacked already. Right. Was that a piglin brute? Because that did a lot of health. It was a piglin brute, right. Right, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to get a bucket of lava to kill the brutes. Because they are the worst thing in this bastion. And by a lot. What on earth? Oh, I'm just getting attacked from the sky. I did not expect that to come and um, haunt me. Where even is the brew? Oh, it's there. Where did it go? Oh, whoa. Why oh, set myself on fire? What? That was so dumb. Uh, please don't die. Okay, I didn't need that golden apple. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna die to a brute, okay? I think I'm just gonna go in. Half a heart. That couldn't have been more silly. And that couldn't have been more close either. Okay, nothing seems to be here. Okay. I'm very, very scared right now. I've made it very far. I don't want to die. You know what? Slash ball point. I don't care if it's cheating. Okay, I want to make it slowly down. Yeah, I want to make it down because I really want that treasure. Okay, over here. Nice. Oh, we've got some brutes over here. Not a problem, because I'll just make my way down here. And over here. And then I think this bridge is okay. Now I want to get rid of this magma cube spawner. Oh, dug right onto it. Nice. Are there any brutes on here? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Ah, no. Well, it took a while to die. There we go, though. We did it. This is a very strategic play from me here. Okay, nothing seems to be down here anymore. Okay, um... I think I'll probably just dig myself the safety area. I'm getting attacked by magma cubes. Right. Uh, uh. Ah, they can't reach. How sad is that? Uh, can I place a block here? Okay, no. Looks like we're just leaving with it. Okay. Open the chest. Diamond armor. What? The chest plate isn't useful, unfortunately. We've got netherite ingot. I might be able to get netherite in the future. Oh, well, that's gonna replace my gold up. Oh, it's all the diamond armor that useless, really. Time to anger all the piglins. Um, I most definitely did. 
did not think that through. Yep, I got killed straight away. It's okay though, I set my spawn point right in the bastion. Oh! Didn't expect you to spawn. Yeah! Uh, okay, I got my gold blocks back, which is good. If I just, um, burn the line. Then now no one can attack me. A lot of piglins just started to fall. I was very scared. I was on one heart, two piglin brutes had decided to come and fall on top of me. Um, now, look at all this gold. I've got gold for days. Now, I just want to slash kill. Then they'll stop being angry at me. Then I can find a bunch of piglins in one certain area to trade with. Uh oh. No, not you, not you, not you, not you. Right, let's get my lava out. I was doing fine until he came along. Okay, let me just build on top of here. Where's my fire ones? There they are. Okay, there's a, there's a piglin over here. I think I'll start trading. And maybe with this gold I'll try and lure some other ones in. I mean, isn't there one up there though? Shouldn't I just get him in? Well, I don't know. Pearl straight away! Second try, there's no way, guys. And it's four as well. Nice! Uh-oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that guy's. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is why you pay attention. Because otherwise, you'll do stupid things like that. But it's okay. Now, I'm just gonna dig in. Ten obsidian, which means we can go back home. Wow, I do feel like a true Minecraft speedrunner. But there was some fire resistance stuff. Well, you know what? I'll have the nuggets instead because I'm going to be going home, aren't I? Yes, obviously. Why would I stay here any longer when I've got all I want? You know what? I don't care about the pearls. I'm probably not going to go to the end anyway. Just finding the stronghold would be an accomplishment for me. Now let's go. You know what, now that I think of it, this double tall grass has been very, very lucky. Also, we are like 10,000 blocks away from the spawn, so let's see where that stronghold is. We're going this way, guys. And it didn't break, nice. All right, I'm swooping down to an ocean. Wow, look how close it was to the coast. And okay, oh, it sort of changed direction a little bit. But, uh, but we are going above the ocean, so let's not stop here. You know what, since it's night time, I think I'll just pop in this village to quickly go to bed. Then I can come out just over here. And since the, I did change direction a little bit, I want to see where it is now. Okay, we're still going this way. That's fine. Let's see what we're dealing with over here. Here we go, found more land. Now let's see where it's going. Oh well, maybe I should throw them less regularly if it's still this way. I mean, it has changed direction slightly, I guess. Oh well, let's keep going. Okay, finally made it to new land. Uh, oh, it's changing direction. That means we're above it, and it means it's probably above the ocean somewhere. But you know what? I don't know why I just went in the water. Because I want to fly above it. Okay. I've now come down to be about here, right in this spot. So, let's go down to the stronghold. Oh, I just dug straight in. Nice. 
Okay. Oh. Got quite a few ways to. Oh, witch. Oh, come on. Of course it poisoned me. Of course it did. Why wouldn't it? Oh, I've found both the libraries. Library 1, Library 2. Um. Well, you know what? I'm probably not going to advance any further because I think that I've made it pretty far myself. So, I'm gonna conclude and end today's video right here. Well, the the challenge was when I started with the elytra. The elytra definitely helped me as I was able to get to the stronghold. So, that's very cool. And don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe for more challenges. Maybe next time I'll actually do a challenge that's hard. That challenges me. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!